we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. Oh, nobody knows about the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Mama Sita's channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome again. Anyway guys, please like, subscribe, and share because I am going to be making all kind of cookie recipes. Yes, me, I have a cookie business and I want you to know how to make homemade cookies. But today, we are going to be making peanut butter cookies, Mama Sita's special peanut butter cookies. So stay tuned, keep watching, get your, your supplies prepared to make these cookies and let's get started. Okay, so we are back. First, you're going to need two unsalted uh, sticks of butter. Make sure it is unsalted. This is real butter. This is not imitation. I always use real butter in my cookies. So we're going to mix the wet ingredients and then we're going to mix the dry ingredients. So right now we have two sticks of butter. We're going to need uh, two half cups of sugar. So that's one. And two. Then we're gonna need uh, a half a cup, two half a cups of brown sugar. And when you're uh, measuring out your, your sugars and your brown sugars, make sure it's flat and it's leveled out because you don't wanna, um, baking dyes is very <laughs> tedious. Well, not tedious, but you really have to have accurate um, measurements for baking. Now cooking, I know you guys probably know, cooking is a lot different, but um, baking pretty much have to have the, the correct, um, the correct amount of uh, ingredients. Okay, so now that we're in there, since I'm making two and a half cups, uh, I mean, two and a half dozen uh, peanut butter cookies. I'm gonna need four teaspoons of pure vanilla, guys. I always use the pure vanilla, okay? So, use your measuring cup, I mean, your measuring uh, utensils. That's one, two, three, And four. And by the way, guys, always wash your hands. I wash my hands um, before I started. So always wash your hands. Clean hands is always important. Okay. So now we're going to start blending. Now, I use a hand mixer, guys, because the bowl mixer is very um, time-consuming for me. So I make all my cookies with the hand. And you just make sure that you mix all uh, the butter, the sugar, the vanilla, make sure it's all turned together. That is very important to make it a very good cookie, guys. Making sure that your mixtures are all mixed together. So keep mixing until. Um, okay. I always like to take a spatula and clean around the bowl, make sure that is still um, 
Now see these things right here, guys? It's like lots of, and this, this batch of cookies is for my family, so I'm putting my hand in there. They all good. So you see these little lumps? Normally I have plastic gloves on when I am baking for my business, but you see these little clumps of, um, this is brown sugar. So with a hand mixer, it's hard to get those. So I just toss them. You know, I toss them and then I try to, if I see any more, try to smash them in. But that's important to um, make sure you don't get those clumps of brown sugar. Okay. So I think that looks pretty much it. It should look like this, a little creamy inside. You know, it's kind of mixed very well. Sometimes I will go back through. Okay, so now we need two eggs because this recipe requires, um, if you make one dozen, it requires one egg. Since I'm making two dozen, it requires two, okay? That's one. Normally you should do this in a bowl, like a crack your eggs in a bowl. So you won't get eggshells. I pretty much, um, like if I do a bigger batch like that requires four eggs, I'll do a, a I'll do a, uh, I put the eggs in a bowl. Okay, so we start mixing that up. Bowls, make sure no um, eggs or other, you know, um, ingredients are on the, you know, around the edges. Make sure all that is mixed in together. Like I said, guys, with cookies, you gotta use your discretion because when I first started making cookies, I threw away a lot of cookies. I didn't know anything about the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients, you know, and all of that I had to figure out and do it on my own. Okay, so that's what you Okay guys, I did say that this uh, recipe required two tables uh, two teaspoons of baking soda. It actually requires one teaspoon of baking soda for two and a half dozen okay so i will have all of that linked down below in the description box so we need uh two one fourths of kosher salt i always use kosher salt with all my cookies okay this is a very easy recipe so one fourth twice Then you just take your knife, make sure you mix that all in. If you don't stir your, your baking soda and your salt, then sometimes um, that can ruin your cookies too. Guys, cookies are, like I said, if you don't use the right, uh, um, the, the correct amount of uh, measurements, then you can screw your cookies up, okay? So here we go. So I always start off with a little, and then I start mixing. So we'll start mixing.
Okay guys, this is the secret ingredient. I use these peanut butter chips and my peanut butter cookies. It just makes the peanut butter, if you are a peanut butter lover, it just makes the peanut butter cookies taste even better. So I just kind of eyeball it and throw a little bit in there. You just use your own discretion, how many chips you want. Some people like a lot, some people don't. But I make sure that you get a chip in every bite, okay? Okay, so we're done. That was an easy peanut butter cookie recipe. I'm gonna link all of the um, information about this cookie down below. And yeah, we're gonna bake these cookies and you're gonna see how good they're gonna look. But first, we're gonna put them in the free fridge. I always like to make my cookies the day before because it's just like, you know, anything else, Mar meat, marinate, you know, you wanna put it in the refrigerator overnight or whatever so you can get the best results. And yeah, so that's the cookie dough, okay? Okay, guys. <laughs> Peanut butter cookies without peanut butter, okay? No big deal, I think, because it's not, you know, hard. So this recipe requires a, a, like two and a half, well, a half a cup of peanut butter, depending, depending how peanut buttery you like it. I kind of put a lot of peanut butter because my kids love the peanut butter, okay? So yeah, guys, I forgot to put the peanut butter in. Don't forget to put the peanut butter in. Trust me, <laughs> you'll notice it when you start eating your cookies. Okay, guys, let's mix that in. this right guys see normally I am focused and I'm not filming so it's no big deal let's get that mix that peanut butter right on in there no big deal and this like I said this batch is for my family so I still love it. Okay. Just get all of that. Mix all of that in. See? Peanut butter. No big deal. Had a little snafu, but we fixed it. Now you got your peanut butter in here. Now your cookies are ready to go into the refrigerator now. <laughs> and I use Jiffy, um, I always use the Jiffy creamy peanut butter. I love this peanut butter, it makes cookies taste so good. So uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to put the peanut butter in, okay? So you just kind of mix that around, get that mixed in with your um, hand spatula. Guys, I go through a million of these spatulas, okay? So yeah, so that is it. Now we are done. Now we can put it in the fridge. So, okay guys, welcome back for the peanut butter reveal. Okay guys. Peanut butter cookies have been in the refrigerator for a day. So this is the next day. And um, yeah, let me show you how I put these peanut butter cookies together. Gloves. I use a fork and a spoon, about this size. This is spoon, you can use a ice cream scooper. I just use a spoon because it's just a little better. So I make them about 
this side, okay? Okay, this are the famous Mama Cita peanut butter cookies. Guys, they smell amazing. Very good cookie. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So you let these cool off, you know. Um, you let these sit on the tray for maybe a minute or so, and then you put them on the cooling rack for another couple of minutes, and then you can eat them. Yummy. Okay, guys, so that is it for Mama Sita's peanut butter cookies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want more recipes like my chocolate chip, maybe, or my cookies and cream, maybe, or my white chocolate cranberry macadamia, maybe. Hit a sister up. Comment down below. I will put the recipe down below if you want this recipe, if you want to try it for your family. They are amazing. They taste yummy. You can put them in the oven. Um, or the microwave after you've had them a couple of days and put it on the microwave a couple of seconds and fresh baked cookies. Warm, fresh baked cookies every time, okay? So anyway, I love you. Have an amazing day and see you at the next video.